Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our third experiment in looking at different effects uh, on reaction rates and and today we're looking at the effect of surface area and once again I have two beakers that are filled up uh, with water and again we're doing this uh, looking at it from the point of view of a physical change the dissolving of sugar in water but again the same thing happens in relation to a chemical change now what I need to do is I have one sugar cube that I'm, I'm going to place into this beaker um, as as a whole and it has a very low surface area because not all of the cube is exposed and with the second cube I'm going to place it in this water and pestle and I'm going to break it up so Now, as you can see, I've just turned it into just regular sugar. Um, before I put them into the various beakers, again, the write-up will come up onto the screen. Can you pause it, please? Copy it down into your book, and then when uh, you are ready, uh, you can resume the video. Okay, well, now what we'll do is we'll actually record the time that both of these occur. So we'll put them both into the water, um, like so. We'll start the stopwatch, and to speed up the reaction, because obviously it could take a while, I'm basically just going to stir. Now when you do this, you need to make sure that you stir at round about the same rate, because otherwise it would be um, an unfair experiment. Now we've gone 15 seconds, and we've broken up a little bit of the large sugar cube, uh, the small sugar, uh, the small, uh, well, sorry, the crushed sugar cube has basically um, done most of of the dissolving. We're at the 30 second mark now, and that's basically it. So it's taken 37 seconds to dissolve the one in oh, uh, the crushed sugar cube and as you can see we're still going as we get towards the minute mark of the whole sugar cube okay so we'll stop it there because um we've actually got our good set of results so you can s uh, you can see there there's still some that's present in the in the bottom um uh, as per usual can you please complete uh your experiment write up and if you have any problems please consult your teacher thank you very much